October 16, 2000. Game 5 of the NLCS. The Mets can punch their ticket to the World Series with a win against St. Louis. Mike Hampton throws a complete game shutout as the Mets beat the Cardinals and win their first National League pennant since 1986. By far, you know, my greatest accomplishment, you know, on the stage, you know, in New York, you know, NLCS, and, uh, you know, facing the, the Cardinals. And, you know, it's just one of those games where, you know, I really just everything was tuned out. I was just focused on, on my task, and I was to get as many hitters out as I could. And then uh, after the last pitch was thrown, you know, it was, it was a, a little bit of a sigh of relief that, you know, we, we, we made it to the World Series. At, and then just, you know, the emotions at that moment and as well as like in the clubhouse later. I mean, I, I just can't describe them because uh, I've never had a high that, that high before. I remember when we were in clinch, um, that was something that we always, uh, you see all the sacrifice that we did from spring training to, to that day. And uh, finally, you, you, you're there, you're going to the, to, the, to the World Series, to New York. Uh, the fans, uh, they really agree give you a great support all the time and, and you, you got the opportunity to pay by them, uh, to pay their back. Well, getting the chance to go to the World Series was you know, even greater. You know, we're, we're winning games after games and series after series and we're like, wow, we're, we're going to the World Series now. And it was, it was one of those things where you, know, you, you got to pinch yourself sometimes because you know, going to the World Series, that's an ultimate goal. The Brooklyn Cyclones, one of the Mets A-ball affiliates, are enjoying a lot of success in the New York Penn League. As a matter of fact, the Cyclones were the first team in the league to reach 40 wins and they lead their division by double-digit games. One of the keys to their success is Daryl Ceciliani. This season he flirted with hitting 400 for most of the year and shattered the Cyclones record for both runs and hits in a season. So let's meet Cyclone center fielder Daryl Ceciliani. The baseball atmosphere here is just, it's different than anywhere I've ever played. You know, I mean, I'm from a small town, and uh, so, you know, I mean, there's more people in the stands every night than my hometown. So, uh, but, you know, it's been, it's been awesome. The fans are great. You know, they support you, and, uh, you know, I'm just going out and trying to help the team win every night. And Ceciliani is helping them every night. Through the first 61 games of the season, the center fielder was hitting over 350. But his abilities aren't limited to the batter's box. Daryl's got a lot of tools, you know, he can hit, he can field, he can throw, he can run. He's definitely got a long time playing baseball. He is really fun to watch. You know, he's uh, moving into the leadoff spot since Ryland got hurt, but he can do it all. You know, he, uh, he's good defensively. He can hit, drives the ball well to the opposite side of the field, and he just goes out there and gets after it. And he has a lot of fun while doing it. So it's always, it's always nice to see people uh, doing well in baseball, but also having a lot of fun at the same time. Daryl Ciciliani, Corey Vaughn, those two outfielders are, are very quality players. They're five tool players. They can do a little bit of everything. They got great baseball instincts, and, and I'm certain that they'll play in a big league someday. It's great, you know, for him to compliment me like that. I mean, you know, knowing somebody that knows the game and been around the game for a long time, you know, to, to have my back like that's great. And, you know, I mean, I think having a work ethic and the right mindsets, you know, I mean, that's, that's the, one of the biggest parts of uh, making it you know, making it up through the levels. So, I mean, I gotta, you know, stick with that mindset and keep working hard and, you know, hopefully it all turns out for the better. At just 20 years old, Ceciliani knows he has a lot to learn about the game of baseball and he relishes the opportunity to play under former Met and world champion, Wally Backman. Actually, I've learned the most from Wally Backman and Benny DiStefano. You know, those guys both been in the major leagues, uh, both had successful careers and, you know, I mean, I feel like I just, whenever I have a question, I can just go to them and pick their minds for, for anything, really. I mean, whether it's on the baseball or off the baseball field, but I mean, I love playing for Wally. You know, he's a fiery guy, he loves to win, and you know, I mean, that's just, that's, I think that, that rubs off on us, and we're all out there trying to win and play, play as hard as we can for him, and you know, I mean, we want to make, uh, make him look good, and you know, we're all trying to, trying to do the same thing, and that's make it to the major league. Still to come on Mets Weekly, presented by Flat Rate Moving. Some very special guests swing by City Field as the defending women's U.S. Open champion trades in her backhand for a baseball bat. And the Mets introduce their first round pick, Matt Harvey. Having the opportunity to, to get started in this organization is, is very special to me and my family. 
Mets Weekly is presented by Flat Rate Moving. Flat Rate, New York's most trusted moving company for nearly 20 years. Visit flatrate.com for your next move.